your journal, your life, you do it. Also, I realize that this is like random content, so why not just bring you along for it? Life lessons from Marie while she does her makeup. Good morning. Welcome. Oh! Hello, welcome back to another vlog. I am so excited you're here. I'm just a little vlogging machine these days, but it's kind of fun to just be like, you know what, I feel like vlogging. I'm gonna pick up the camera and not really, I have little bits of plans, but like not have too much of a plan. Just let's, let's do life together for a couple days. It's Saturday morning, cheers to Saturday. It's like 11 a.m. We slept in very well. Now we're getting the day kind of started. I've been working from the couch this has been my desk it's actually very organized i should show you <laughs> every month i put out like the first of the month which is today happy june 1st but i put out a little newsletter to all my email subscribers at thanksmorris.com and it just has a prompt for every week of that month because in your say thanks more journal if you have a journal there is a day every week where it's like find your gratitude prompt at thanksmorris.com so that way you just have something different and new every week um but then also you could just do your own thing on that day too or you could do your own thing any day it doesn't matter but anyways your journal your your journal your life you do it but anyways i am sitting here getting that all together because that's going to go out this afternoon and then also what goes out with that is um the free mindfulness calendar that has like a mindfulness activity or something to think about for every day of the month and those are free there's one that goes out for kids and then one that goes out for adults um so i'm just putting all of that together and being super cozy it's kind of gloomy the june gloom is definitely it got the memo um but later today we have one of our improv friends throwing a little soiree, <laughs> a little, I think that's what she called it, um, but it's like a pizza making night. They have a pizza oven they wanna use, and so we're super excited. We all have to bring our own pizza toppings, so Mark and I, um, we have been in like our pizza making era anyways over here, so we're gonna bring like our gluten-free cauliflower crust and um, get our favorite toppings that we like to use, and then the idea is like everybody can kind of share and mix and match, so. We will have to stop by Trader Joe's on our way to that, but yeah, should be a fun couple of just chill days. Let's continue working and then I will uh, catch you up when, when we have other things going on. something on my to-do list that has been on my to-do list since the end of April is to relaunch my SLP course. It's called the Thriving School SLP and it's a course that I put out last year in May. It was like perfectly timed with SLP month and everything like that. And this year I just couldn't get it together <laughs> to get that out by May. But I really wanted to change platforms because I want everything that I am doing as far as side business, side hustle things, I want it all to be located in one spot. I want it all to be on thanksmorris.com. When I launched it last year, I went on Teachable and it was super confusing not only for me, but for people that were signed up for it to be on a completely different platform. Plus I had to double, double duty everything. So like every graphic, everything that I designed on my page where people bought it on thanksmorris.com, I had to then double up on and create a whole new page, like a whole new website essentially on Teachable. And it was just a lot. Um, and while I could just renew the Teachable course, I already pay for Squarespace. Like, and then I'm paying for two different websites essentially. And that's just not in my budget. And it's not really smart business, I feel like. So I figured out a way to take all those videos and put them on thanksmorris.com. So I'm super stoked. So right now that's what I'm doing. I'm uploading all those videos, re-uploading, but I don't have to pay for two different subscriptions. So I'm really excited about that. Plus, then that can keep the cost down for my participants. So it's a win, 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 win. And I'm almost done uploading them. So pretty soon here, I'm going to be 
launching that. When I launch it, I don't know that I'm going to be super loud about it or because there's been people asking already. I I don't know. I know I should be loud about it, but I don't know that it's in my heart to be like in your face by my course type of thing. Um, that just doesn't feel natural for my content and the way my content has been in the last year. So we'll see. <laughs> These are my thoughts. I'm sharing them with you and I'm grateful you're here to listen, but we'll see how that goes. We'll see. I'm excited though. I'm excited that I figured out a way to make this work that works best for me and for you. Just finished working out and we only have like, not even, we have less than an hour before we should really leave our house to go to our friend's party. I'm about to hop in the shower and I remembered I got an Amazon delivery today. We got a new rug for our bathroom because, let me show you. Also, I realized that this is like random content, but this is what I'm doing right now and I chose to vlog today and so why not just bring you along for it? You could see what life looks like in my messy, disheveled bedroom. This is our bathroom floor. <laughs> Welcome to the bathroom floor that, you know, I have not updated anything in here. Um, but this is the rug that we got and I loved it. It was from Amazon, but when I washed it, it said it was washable. And when I washed it, uh, every time I have washed it, it needs to be washed. It's disgusting. So I'm sorry you have to see this, but it started to tear and I'm over it. I'm over trying to wash it. I'm over all the little fibers getting everywhere. So we're throwing this away. We're going to put in the new one. It's like this waffle knit. I like it. It's like an olivey green, which I feel like is kind of complementary to our bathroom. There's really no other colors in here besides brown, white, and gray. It's waffle knit. Had really good reviews as far as comfort and like feeling on your feet. And then it's supposed to be easy to wash, so we'll see. And it has like, you can tell which side the bottom is because it feels like it's going to grip the floor. So that's another good thing. It won't slide. Oh yeah. Oh, that grips. Oh, that's pretty, that's, that's pretty nice. Okay, so far I'm a fan. So far I like. Just finished getting ready. I feel like, I don't even know if you can see my pants. I feel like I wear these pants. <laughs> these are my, I got them from Urban Outfitters two years ago. They're my wide leg BDG high-waisted jeans. They're so comfy and because wide legs are like so in right now, I get away with wearing them. I mean, not that I wouldn't, I can wear whatever I want, but um, <laughs> I, I've just really enjoyed wearing them with like almost every outfit that I own. They're just so comfy. These shoes are so dirty from work because this is literally my uniform for working with preschoolers. We're encouraged tonight to wear closed toe shoes if we have that. And it's summer and I don't wanna wear closed toe shoes but um, apparently there's a game that involves some kind of risk to your feet. So I'm gonna be a non-party pooper and wear my tennies. These are so worn. Guys, Mainwall does it, does it really right with cute sneaker options. Um, I literally wore these 90%, 90% of the school year. I mean, it's not bad. They were nasty though. I wore them to an IEP on the last Monday of the school year and I was like looking at my feet. Luckily nobody could see because we had a table, a big conference table around us, but I was like, this is embarrassing. Why don't I take the time to clean my shoes? But that was kind of the end of the school year in a nutshell. Like time for tasks such as that didn't exist. This top, I forgot I'd gotten it at Nordstrom Rack. It's actually made well, but it's like a sweater. It's a little bit thicker material. And I was like, oh, better wear it now because it's gonna get too warm. Um, and it's cute, it's cute. I definitely, Mark looked at me, he's like, you look like you're straight out of that 70s show. And I was like, yeah. The vibe is 70s, for sure. If I did pay attention, I would remember. I think they're loose. Hey, that was some form right there. Not even gonna try and say it's the morning because it's not, not that I would lie to you blatantly, but it is 2.15. 
Um, Mark and I went to bed. So we had, we went to our friend's house. We were there for like four and a half hours. We had such a fun time. I've said it before on the vlogs, but our improv group is like a little family now. And it's been so fun, like party hopping with them because we've done get togethers at my parents' house. We've done get togethers at another one of our improv members' house. We just all like being together and we have so much fun. And I think the fact that we goof around once a week together, it really lends itself to just getting to enjoy time outside of improv together because we like, I think we feel safe with each other, you know, because we are in this situation once a week where we're putting ourselves out there, just letting whatever comes out of our mouth come out of our mouth and like trusting each other in scenes and all that. So it's been really cool, but we, um, we had a good time making pizza and um, what else did we do? I'm going to, I'm going to get ready with you because we have family night tonight, family poker night. And I'm kind of stepping outside of my comfort zone, but I figured let's get ready together and I'll just kind of show you what I what I use when I get ready because I don't really do, I do a lot of like getting unready with you, but um, I haven't I haven't shown you how I get ready or what I do for my makeup routine. So that could, could be fun, who knows? Let me know if you like this, let me know if you don't like it. So first thing I'm gonna do is I use this Ilia skin tint. I actually already have moisturizer and like serum and everything that's been on my face since I got up this morning, but pizza making was so fun, it's such a fun activity. Um, our friend from Improv, Lucy, she um, and her fiance, they're such great hosts and <laughs> they've hosted quite a few parties for us before. Um, and like, they're so good at having activities to do at their, at their events. And so they had this game, which was kind of the main, besides the pizza making, that was like the main idea was that we would play this game with, they had a tree stump. I guess they'd gotten it from their neighbor. And um, they put nails in it. Like it's a whole thing where you're like having to toss a hammer in your hand and then um, if you don't drop it, you get to hit a nail and you just don't hit your own. And the point is, is like, if your nail is the last nail standing, you're the winner. It was fun to watch. Um, Mark got really into it. My mom got so into it. We will use, I use the Tarte Shape Tape and I need to just get more in the light neutral color. Key to this one, you let it sit on your face and get a little tacky. Um, today, basically from the time I made coffee to now, um, so the last like two and a half, no longer, like three hours, I finished everything. My goal was by the end of this week to finish everything for my course that I was talking about yesterday. Um, and then I just was like, you know what? I know what I'm doing now. I can figure this out. Let me just do it while I have the motivation. So that felt really good to get that all finished. So I had mentioned yesterday, like I was moving platforms for this course. I originally had it on Teachable, but there were multiple reasons I needed to move it over to thanksmorris.com, which is my website. And I wanted to make sure that all the members that were already enrolled in my Teachable course from last year could be able to access everything at thanksmorris.com. But to do that, I needed to, literally go in on Teachable, copy and paste all their emails individually, put it all in one email, <laughs> and then um, send them the, the new course link with their discount code because, so if you were enrolled last year, if that's you, go check your email because you might have an email from me about a week ago <laughs> um, that has all that information in it. But that felt really good to just get it all done. Part of my issue with putting, like the reason why I put on Teachable last year, because that felt so much easier than learning how to do member spaces. And I wish, I mean, I'll just tell you this. If you're thinking about doing any kind of businessy thing and there's something that you know you should learn, but you there's like a quicker way to do it. And in the moment it seems like a more cost-effective plan. For me, it ended up costing me more money to do it that way because then I was paying subscriptions to two different platforms. In the end, I was thinking like, oh, well it saves me time, which is worth more of my money. But in the end, it wasn't the case because now I just spent about three days figuring that out, which three days isn't that bad in the scheme of things, but like it would have taken me just as much time last year to do it. I just wish I would have done it that way. I don't know. That's just my own thought. It, everybody tackles those kinds of things differently. Life lessons from Marie while she does her makeup. And I just got this Tarte, this new tubing mascara. I wanted to try this. I was placing an order with Tarte, so I was like, oh, this was cheaper with that order. And so I decided let's go for it because I needed new mascara anyways. And I don't hate it, but it's not quite the same as Merit. It gets way clumpier than Merit, but I do like the length I get from it. I do like it so far. It didn't smudge 
last night that I noticed, so. Another thing that I wanted to try, I tried it last night, it's kind of dark. It's the Sculpting Contour. I usually use this, and I love this. I'm trying to kind of branch out and try new things. And here's my trick. When I want stuff to last, I spray this All Nighter by Urban Decay. I got this for um, Leah's wedding, which I was in in October, and did my own makeup for that. And this stuff was brilliant. I sit for a minute on my face. I also start doing preschool assessments tomorrow. So we are going in the home for one of the kids, like, I don't know, I think it's at like noon. So I'm really excited because I still get to have like my slow summer mornings, which is really, really great. Um, and we're gonna go and do an in-home assessment, which I haven't done in like six years. And I need to sit and organize who we're doing when and when their IEPs are, but I need to go in and add those dates. I think I'm gonna put them in my phone too because I have been relying so much on my phone reminders and like creating my to-do list in my phone. Um, and that has been saving me. That saved me at the end of the school year. And I think I'm just gonna carry that into summer. So that way I have a place, like my planner is where I put all my content stuff. But I get ideas for content, you know, when I'm on the go. So I'll throw that in my phone and then come home and write it down in my planner later. So it just kind of helps to have multiple places. But something I need to do is make sure I know where I'm going tomorrow. That's on the agenda for today. As I'm talking to you, this is turning into like a 20 minute makeup routine, but honestly, this stuff only takes me about 10 minutes. Once my hair is done, I can knock my makeup out pretty quick. I usually wait till the end of like my getting ready routine to do my makeup so that way my face has de-puffed as much as it will before my makeup goes on. This thing is my new favorite brow pencil. It's the Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez. I really like it because I don't have to put much and I feel like it just fills in my brows just enough but they still look fairly natural. What's wrong with me? This is the Kosas powder and it's it's the um, Feathery Cloud Set. It is the best setting powder. The best. I have another one. I like the Tarte one too but this is better because I feel like this is a little bit more natural looking, but you still get like that softness. What blush do I want to use? Do I want this one or do I want Rare Beauty? What should she go with today? I guess this one, this is like less, it's more natural looking and I feel like I'm going for more of that, that look today. For eyeshadow, we do more Ilia. This is the Warm Nude palette that I love so much. And it lasts a pretty long time. Put a little color here to blend in my red patch so we can't tell that I have a eczema flare or something. What is it? Anyways, the Maracuja Juicy Lip. And this is in Fig. It is such a pretty, like, natural. I like it because it doesn't look like too lipsticky and it's very moist and hydrating. Not doing my hair today. I refuse. It's summer break, and I'm gonna knock out those quick administrative things. I love days like this where I can just kind of sit and get a little bit of admin -y tasks done. <laughs> so, so much is getting accomplished, and I'm just so grateful for it. I'm officially in my linen shirt over everything era. It is so comfy. And when the weather is undecided, like it's kind of gloomy outside, but then it feels kind of warm, I'm just, I'm just gonna do this. So I'm pretty sure this is all my family sees me in these days. No, that's fine. We're good with it. We're gonna, we're gonna take our bumpus um, friends to poker so we can sit with them on our neck. We'll see how this helps us. Oh, I should take some CBD. Ready? Bumpus high five? Oh. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, ten, or she's decided it's 10 cents to her. Oh, it's up to me now? Yeah, you just went. <laughs> well, didn't do as well as I would have liked to report at poker tonight. But <laughs> it's fun to joke around and, and uh, have, some, have some quality family time. So the Thriving SLP School course for school-based SLPs is officially live. I made that officially live tonight on my website. 
and I wanted you to be able to take advantage of the relaunch promo code that saves you $20 if you're interested in enrolling in that course. I will link all the information below, but essentially what it is, it's a six module self-based course that also has two bonus modules, so eight in total. You get 3.75 hours of professional development. You do a quiz after you take it. It's all a part of the course, and then you get a certificate that you get to print, fill out, hold on for your records, but um, I'm going through everything from my IEP meeting hacks, like writing IEPs, organizing myself for, you know, gathering information for IEP meetings or for writing the IEPs themselves or the reports. Um, I'm talking all about collaboration in the schools. I talk about how to support behavioral needs in the schools. I am talking about, what else? Jeez, there's so much data collection, planning therapy sessions, neurodiversity affirming practices in the schools, like all these things that I have found to be really helpful in organizing my daily life as a school-based SLP and just figuring out how to handle the daily tasks of a school-based SLP. And I've put all that information into almost four hours of self-paced coursework for you. I will link all that information down below, but the code to get $20 off is THRIVE20, and that will save you $20 for the relaunch, and that goes through June 16th, 2024. But um, thank you for just hanging out with me for a couple days. It was so fun to take you along and just to keep life and keep life in together but i cannot wait to see you next and it's gonna be very soon bye <laughs>